Ministry of Defence has planned to purchase an AI based threat assessment software for Indian Army. It has lot of features and as per the document released by Ministry of Defence uh, the software will have immense feature including uh, linking it with the database of uh, Aadhaar as well as the Ministry of Road and Highways. But what is the requirement of this software now? Hello and welcome to news18.com. I am Ankur Sharma. Today I will explain you about this software, the, its features and what is the requirement and what exactly ministry is looking for. The defense ministry while giving the reasons behind purchasing this AI based uh, threat assessment software is that that during the operations army requires various kind of details currently it is not available at the right time and also it is not ai based after getting this software it will help the army to perform operations more effectively mainly in sensitive areas like jammu and kashmir and other border areas currently details of threat assessment are not available with any security forces or any other law enforcement agency and even not with the, any intelligence agency this ai based the software will perform facial biometric correlation for human move tracking through the mobile as well the software will have the ability to import data with other agencies within formation of areas of responsibility the system will have natural language processing model which will be in hindi english arabic urdu and there are other languages also this will extract intelligence automatically and generate reports intelligence inputs and open source documents and memo the ministry also said that this software will help the army to track and predict the incidents the defense ministry also have key requirements from the developers as it also wants developers to make this software in a way so that they can easily Uh, analyze and identify various threats from darknet now this will be a bigger responsibility for the developers as even now various intelligence and as well as central uh, uh, investigating agencies like nia ncb are struggling with dark web and deep darknet now through this uh, software ministry is expecting that this will solve the various purposes and mainly it will help indian army in performing operations more effectively so how this system will work so now uh, after getting this software indian army will have biometric face recognition aadhar uh, database and database of various vehicle registration now if there is an uh, operation going on in any place so if there is any vehicle movement the uh, uh, indian army can easily track that uh, with the help of registration and with the face recognition if there is any suspect moving around that can be easily identified now to relate that uh, they can easily link with the aadhaar data which they have in front of you and that that can be easily done with the data of other agencies like fingerprint and other uh, scientific data so this is the whole system uh, Indi uh, indian army through defense ministry is expecting that this uh, whole system will be a game changer for Indian Army and it will definitely change the uh, scenario and the efficiency of Indian Army during the operations.